As a full disclaimer, Varla did send me this scooter to test out and review. They have no influence over anything that I have to say about this. And we're gonna be putting this thing through the paces over the next few weeks to test it out. Let's get into it and see what it comes with. Hey everyone, so we got the Varla Eagle One electric scooter here today. Now, I've been very excited to get this thing. I've been waiting on it for a few weeks. And this thing is a 52 volt scooter, 18.2 amp hour battery. We're gonna open it up here today, show you guys what it comes with, get this thing charged up, and we're gonna put it through the paces over the next few weeks to see what this thing can do, see how the suspension holds up, what kind of power it has on the heels. And we're gonna be also doing some comparisons against a $550 High Boy S2 Pro electric scooter that I currently have. This thing comes packaged really nicely. I gotta tell you, when I unloaded this thing from FedEx, it was way heavier than I thought it was gonna be. When I grabbed that thing off the truck, I mean, I was like, wow. It, it took me and my wife to carry this thing over here. I mean, I could have done it myself, but it was a little awkward. Uh, it, it, I mean, this thing is a beast. Let me tell you, this thing, without even taking it out of the package and just feeling the weight of it, this thing is a beast. So let's go ahead and get into it here. I can't wait to open this thing up and, and see how this thing is going to look. I can imagine if the batteries aren't charged, I can imagine it's going to take some time to get them charged up. All right, so there's the display. Now this is the new version that they came out with. It does have full hydraulic brakes, which is awesome because their previous one only had standard brakes. So that's a really cool uh, feature that I'm, I'm I'm happy to try out because I, I haven't had any full hydraulic brakes yet on any of my electric scooters or bikes. So that's going to be a pretty nice feature to check out. So it looks like you get some kind of cap covers here. So that looks like a charge cable. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got the charger here. And two amp output charger, three amp input. So this is a two amp charger, just like my other previous bikes. It's probably going to take some time to charge up that large 18.2 amp hour battery. Now this thing does look like it has, this is one thing I was concerned about because my other scooter feels like the stem's not real, real strong, but this thing, this stem looks pretty massive the way that thing goes in there. I'll show you guys a closer look later. And it has a double locking mechanism here, which is nice. So if you don't have to worry about one of those unclipping. Oh, check this out. They even give you a nice little toolkit. That's pretty nice. You can never have enough of these. You always need those for adjustments. And it does come with three extra grip tapes for it. That's pretty cool. So you can put on whatever design you like. I guess these just stick on. So it comes with one on it and then it comes with three extras. And I'll use that new toolkit they give me to install the handlebars. So it looks like pretty much the handlebars are the only thing that you need to install on this, which is really nice. It pretty much comes completely together. Let's take these out with the toolkit that they give you and get the handlebars installed. All right, so I am gonna put some blue Loctite on these bolts when I install the handlebars. I didn't see any in there, so they don't give you this. But if you guys use Loctite, just remember blue is semi-permanent and red is more of a permanent. It will be harder to remove the red. I always use blue for most cases. And I will put a link to this down below in the description if you guys are interested in getting some of this for yourself. It's a good idea, that way those bolts can't rattle loose, especially on a scooter of this caliper. So you just rotate them around to where they're more comfortable for you. I'll probably have to adjust these again once I get it out of the box. I just figured installing these in the box might make it a little easier to get it out of the box. This thing's gonna be pretty heavy. All right, now the fun part, getting it out of the box. Oh, that thing is a beast. <laughs> oh yeah, that suspension's awesome. Ooh, that's nice. The bell's dinging from the key hitting it. <laughs> so once you get this this out of the box you are going to have to adjust a few more things on it. it looks like i'll have to tighten up that stem a little bit looks like i'll have to rotate these gauges and everything and and secure them with the hand with the uh brake levers to suit my uh comfort there wherever i feel they're the most comfortable so that looks pretty good about right there so i'm going to tighten everything up right there all right so it comes with also an owner's manual a spare tube which is nice it also comes with 
I said it, knee pads and elbow pads, which trust me, if this thing actually goes 40 miles per hour, I'll be needing these if I have enough guts to take at that speed. <laughs> but we're gonna find out. All right, so I noticed once I clamped these, the stem was still a little loose. All you have to do is tighten these little thumb screws here up a little bit, and then you clamp these tight, and then that really tightens that stem up. Now, it does have a note here that after a long time of ride, riding, you might get a little bit of play in this area right here. All you need to do to adjust that is there's two Allen screws, one in each side here and here. You loosen those, and then there's a bigger Allen screw underneath. You tighten that up. Once that's tight, you tighten these two back up, which holds that Allen screw there from getting it coming loose, and that will tighten the play up in this stem, which is really nice. It's really nice that you can adjust that easily after riding for a while. Now on the side of the scooter is where you have your charge ports down here, and they give you two charge ports. And what's nice about this is if you buy another charger from them, you can actually put two chargers on here at the same time and charge basically double the rate to get a faster charge on that large 18.2 amp hour battery. Now another thing I noticed too that looks pretty good, it looks like a little miniature motorcycle suspension in here and it has a threaded nut on top of the spring here and it looks like you might be able to adjust either the you know the compression of the spring there to make it harder or softer. I'll have to look into that but that looks like it's a pretty nice little adjustment there. Pretty much the same as adjusted motorcycles on the front and on the back and it has the uh, zoom hydraulic full, full hydraulic braking system like I was saying. So let's get the key in here and see what this thing see what kind of power this thing has. Probably gonna have to charge it up. All right guys, so I got this thing fired up. Let's take it for a spin and see what it got. Woohoo! Wow, that suspension's amazing. No comparison to the high boy. <laughs> this suspension's awesome. <laughs> wow, that suspension's amazing. No comparison to the High Boy S2 Pro. I don't even want to get back on that thing. If you guys want to see more about this scooter, what kind of hills it can go up, and what kind of speed I can get out of it for the max speed, make sure you guys stick around. We're going to be doing a few more videos on this to show you guys all the specs, details about it, and how I think it's going to hold up over time. So stick around, guys. If you like this video or found it enjoyable, don't forget to subscribe, and please leave a comment below. It really helps my channel out. See you guys around on the next one.